So, it's the end of the day and I just realized I didn't record the intro to the video. This video kind of important. I, in it, I will go through every question that is coming in your paper too and the topics that each question will be testing you on. So, stay tuned. this quick before the next class starts this is important pay attention to this video bookmark this video do some kind of thing so you can come back and reference it paper 2 has 10 questions in your exam that's coming up paper 2 is going to have 10 questions the first question is going to be on arithmetic and consumer arithmetic or consume um, arithmetic the number theory part is the page in somebody did you find in a quiet place to record in a school. Princess Victor Yeah, so number theory and competition, consumer arithmetic belongs to question one. In the number theory and competition, that's the first part of question one. The topics that come in that are fractions, use of calculators, scientific notation, significant figures, and there's a the possibility that they can train a ratio in this question as well, right? The consumer arithmetic part of question one is the part where things really start to get cooking because consumer arithmetic could come from a long list of things. Here, here are all the things in consumer arithmetic, right? Discount with the map price, discount, tax, cost price, selling price, profit and loss, percentage profit and loss, mortgages, higher purchase, simple interest, loans and investment, compound interest, appreciation and depreciation, conversion of currency, bills, whether I shop in electric and uh, water to say what's that and phone uh, phone bills or it could be salary wages and commission question two is all about algebra and i did a video explaining what can be tested in algebra so you just click on the link wherever it is a chat pop a tag in the video so just click on the tag uh, question three is going to be a two-part kind of question but it's missed it's about geometry Construction, and you know you get good at construction from practicing. Construction can be free marks if you practice a lot. So construction and the next part, it seems like they are going to stick to putting in geometry. Transformation, they'll stick in that in this part of the paper. This transformation is translation, enlargement, um, reflection, and rotation. Right? Now, question four, five, and six don't necessarily need to be in this order could sometimes the order will change but from what i'm seeing it looks like question four is going to be functions and relations and graphs just the basic part of that so you'll see things like in words a few graphs maybe other inequality draw a graph of a line some interpret some graphs something like that question five statistics which is the entire of statistics that come from um cumulative frequency to frequency polygon that them, them kind of vibes and question six is going to be measurement which i talked about two days ago question seven is always going to be your investigation question which is like facts and recognition for series and sequences so those questions require some practice to get the hang of it so that's the first part that's section one right there the paper is divided into two sections but the entire paper is compulsory so section one is from question one to seven 8, 9, and 10. Those last three questions, 8, 9, and 10, belong to uh, uh, this morning, well, announcement. Uh, this time, there will be a brief meeting in the staff room. Question 8, 9, and 10, I'll come back to that later any day because this is a meeting that I have to attend. Every time I come back to school, I learn new things. This is the new thing I learn. One, two, and three. I don't know what this symbol signifies, I probably shouldn't be doing it. Alright guys, I'm back home by my parents to pick up. Uh, this is where it all started, where I started making math videos. But I just came to pick up some of my textbooks that I left here, some of my math textbooks. For some people, their weakness is buying clothes. For me, um, it's books, it's textbooks. Just a bookstore, I just... 
I normally have to stay care of bookstores, otherwise I can otherwise I can end up spending money I don't have. So for the last three questions in the paper, number eight is gonna be relations, functions, and graphs. Check out the videos I have on that. Number nine is gonna be geometry and trigonometry. Check out some of the stuff I have on that as well. And number 10, the last question in people is going to be vectors and matrices. I did a whole set of stuff on matrices and vectors. So check out that stuff as well. Any topic in math, if you want to see if I do it already, search my name, Kerwin Springer, and the topic, and see if you find a video on it. Before you ask me, sir, do something on matrices, inverse finding, inverse whatever, search my name on the topic, and you very likely might find some stuff I did earlier this year for those who did the exam in June. But I'll be coming back up this syllabus question 1, question 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Cleaning back up all the stuff that I didn't yet reach in my videos. So stay tuned to the channel. I'm shooting out videos every day. If I were you, right now I'd be studying algebra and consumer arithmetic. Just doing endless questions and those so that you'll be ready for those two topics. Algebra and arithmetic on a whole actually because algebra and arithmetic are the two foundations of CXC mathematics. So don't forget to subscribe, like, comment if you need to say anything. Feel free to follow me and message me on Instagram. See you tomorrow.